Hey guys, in the investing world, there is no shortage of things that you can invest in. As a, someone who drives an EV himself, uh, EV being electric vehicle, uh, battery operated vehicles, uh, I was wondering if there were any ETFs out there that if somebody was interested in, say, investing in the EV market versus just Tesla, I was wondering what there is out there to pick from. And so here goes. Come and you see that the ETF, the first one, I'm going to talk about two different electrical vehicle ETFs. First one I'm going to talk about is DRIV, Drive, the Global X Autonomous and Electric Vehicles ETF. Now, this one is brought to you by Global X. And Global X, here's a little fun description. DRIV tracks an index that uses artificial intelligence to select global stocks involved in development, production, or supporting technology of autonomous and electronic vehicles. Okay, so it doesn't seem to have any predetermined uh, index. I've used a proprietary natural language processing algorithm to identify companies with exposure to one of the three segments, electronic vehicles, including motorcycles or scooter, scooters, and electric rail. Electric vehicle components, including their drivetrains, their lithium ion batteries, fuel cells, etc., and automotive vehicles vehicle technology, including sensors, mapping, rideshare platforms, and autonomous driving. So let's take a look at, this fund has been around since 4.13 of 2018, so it's not been around a very long time, you guys. Uh, it has about $60.83 million of assets under management. Now, the first thing that jumps out to me is that expense ratio. The expense ratio of 0.68% for me is a little bit steep. Now it does say that this is a weighted base, a weighted average market cap, and the average cap is 213 billion. Uh, currently it's got a price to earnings ratio that's negative, minus 47.68. So I don't know how to think about that. Uh, it has a minimal distribution yield, you guys. So you're going to get about 0.69% in a dividend, which uh, doesn't say. Next dividend is November, so I don't know whether this is annually or quarterly. We'll see if we can find that out. And the total number of holdings in this is only 76. Okay. Year to date, it's actually up 18.14%, which doesn't surprise me with the fact that Tesla and some of the other companies have really been excelling in this market. Let's take a look at the breakdown. So the top 10 countries, looks like the U.S. makes up almost 67%. Second biggest is Japan, followed by Korea and Germany with about 5 and 4% respectively. Hong Kong, China make up about 3% each. Canada, 2.3. And then just over or under 2% for Australia and Netherlands and Italy. If we look at the top 10 holdings, Number one is Tesla at three, almost three and a half percent. Next is Nvidia with about 3.31 percent. Qualcomm Incorporated, 3.16. Apple, look at that, some tech in there. Alphabet Class A, so Google. Toyota makes up 2.7 percent, which is unusual because they don't have any actual EVs in, in America yet. Now they do have some hybrids out there, but no total EVs that I know of. Microsoft's in there, NIO, Advanced Micro Development, and Cisco. And it looks like the top 10 holdings make up about 27.93, so almost 28%. So there are some other companies contributing to this. So I like that. Uh, the second one we're going to take a look at, IDRV, iDrive. This is the iShares Self-Driving EV and Tech ETF. Uh, currently has a price of about $35. And this is issued by BlackRock under the iShares brand. And it says, iDrive tracks a market cap selected and weighted index of equities related to self-driving vehicles. iDrive focuses on companies that produce autonomous driving vehicles, electric vehicles, batteries for the vehicles, or technologies related to such products. So it sounds pretty similar to DRIV so far. Uh, the fund allows for stocks from both developed and emerging economies, as well as companies of all market cap sizes. 
the index will be reviewed and reconstituted annually and rebalanced semi-annually. All right, so first thing we want to take a look is the expense ratio. This is a little bit lower, you guys, at 0.47%. So just under a half a percent, still more than I like to spend for an ETF, but this is a specialty one. So this is about $53.37 million worth of assets under management. And the average trading volume is just over $1.18 million per day. Let's see. This has a positive PE of 55.20, and it does pay a dividend, it looks like, of 1.06%, so certainly not big. Again, I don't know if this one pays quarterly or annually. Now, this fund is even newer. This one's only been around since April of 2019, so we're talking about maybe a year and six months into it. Uh, <clears throat> the number of holdings is a little bit higher at 102. Uh, and this, as it says, is an indexed weighted methodology for its market capitalization. If we take a look how we've done so far this year, it shows year to date, they're actually up 23.59%. And even for the last three months, they're up 12.95%. Let's go down and take a look at where we break down country-wise. Okay, so the United States makes up about... 53.56%. Germany is a second again at 13.7. Japan makes 9.87. And Korea just a little over 9%. France, about 4.5%. Switzerland, Sweden, China. And then we've got less than a percent for Canada and Belgium. If we look at the top 10 holdings in this one, again, Tesla, a little bit bigger chunk, 7.58%. NVIDIA, Qualcomm, Apple. Alphabet. So the top five, you guys, are the same for both of these funds. Uh, a little bit different in the breakdowns percentage-wise, but let's keep going. Schneider Electric, Samsung, again, Toyota, Siemens, and ABB LTD, which I don't know what that is. Now, this one, if we look at the top 10 holdings, it makes up 42.94%. So this is a little bit heavier weighted towards its bigger companies, again, because it is market cap weighted. Uh these are qualified dividends, it looks like. Okay. Now, do I feel like this is a good ETF for the general public? You guys, it depends. Um, I feel like easy, simple is better. And in most cases, if you can have two or three funds and get everything you want, great. If you want to if you want to tilt because you have an interest in a certain sector or a certain thing like EVs, for example, I certainly don't think it's a bad idea to hedge yourself and put a little bit of money in this. Now, that being said, with a half a percent to almost three quarters of a percent for an ER, uh, I don't think I would be putting a huge amount of money in this. I do think also with tech stocks, uh, as the market gets bigger for EVs, I think you're going to see some diversity and possibly some volatility. But it could be a way to add a new dimension to your investing portfolio. All right. I hope you guys got something else. If you did, do me a favor. Drop me a like. If you're not a subscribed, you guys, you know the deal. Hit the red button. Ring the bell. You'll get notified every time I make a video. I try to make at least a couple a week. All right. We'll see you.